This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So Young Dolph, the third guy, the third suspect has been indicted for murder. Um, two of them are already in there, and they're all scared. They're like, yo, we need to be transferred. They're going to take us out in here, and they ain't lying. Okay, Young Dolph was loved in Memphis. Um, and, you know, for these guys to just take his life... And it's almost coming up on the year anniversary, and it's very coincidental that this guy got apprehended at this time. But, uh, yeah, it's good news because you got to take people like this off the street. I'm not with all this, like, oh, don't, I'm not with all that. You know, maybe younger, I bought into that. When someone's innocent, it's not like some op stuff or like some gang-related stuff. Come on, man. Yeah, this was this wasn't this was just him going back to uh, his to Memphis to trying to get back turkeys for Thanksgiving. Then um, let's move on to the next story. We got Safari admits Love and Hip Hop is slightly fake. He said, "I just saw that Love and Hip Hop special with Hollywood, and I just want to make it clear that me and Lyrica have never been or uh, or even came close to messing around. Low key." Me and A1 made the whole thing up. We on TV, we had a job to do, and we did it. That's my brother and sister right there. It's TV, though. Duh. This must mean that he's not on Love and Hip Hop anymore. I don't know if they got rid of him after he threw that chair. I don't know what's going on, but uh, nobody's shocked. I, we know Love and Hip Hop is fake. People were selling takeoff tickets to the funeral today, $100 a piece. This is kind of disgusting because it's like you guys are, you know, profiting off of a free ticket that's what i mean a free ticket it was a free ticket to go to the funeral it's free yet you're making money off of a free ticket that's a little weird vogue is saying they have a clear-cut case against drake and uh 21 savage for this fake cover i i, I doubt it it's not like they put out and made copies and this is what sold their album this is probably going to get thrown out in court. It'd be a small fine. Um, it was a joke. Vogue's trying to get... Vogue's kind of over, and they're trying to get, like, pub off of this. Let's be honest. They want three times earnings. Come on. Joel Santana previews his new song with A Boogie. Can this bring him back is the question. Tim Blinn says at one point he was getting paid three hundred dollars to $500,000 a beat, and that is true because he was a real producer producers were tailor making beats back then it was more special more mm, exclusive to get like a hot producer now it's a dime a dozen he said he said it's just people water down the market as they did. they did with videos too i was making five seven thousand for videos and then as more people came in and i tried to warn these kids because they'd be like oh you inspired me i was like make sure you charge a lot for your craft but they didn't. They charged five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, and then my price had to come down, come down, come down to a point where I just didn't want to do it anymore. It wasn't worth the risk. Um, it's a lot of work. And I always told these people, I said, five hundred dollars to do all that work, you're crazy, because it's hard to get your price up. You have to be in demand for that. That's about it, man. We'll just we'll get to some more news later.